Mambo vipi mtazamaji popote pale ulipo mimi natumai uko salama uko vizuri kabisa hii ni double updates mimi naitwa Mr Double J karibu tena kwenye ulimwengu wa siasa sasa hivi unaambiwa kwamba one day to go hicho uh, ni Kiingereza lakini Kiswahili kinakuambia siku moja imesalia alafu siku kubwa siku ambayo uh, dunia nzima naweza nikasema inasubiria ni tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane uh, Kiswahili kinasema Jumanne lakini Kiingereza kinasema Tuesday ndio saa 12 uh, watu wanatarajiwa kujitokeza kwa ukubwa kabisa au uh, kwa wingi kabisa kuenda kupigia wale ambao uh, wanaamini kabisa uh, wanaweza kufanya kazi na mambo kama hayo so let's wait and see na kabla sijaendelea basi na kuomba kabisa uh, chukua sekunde moja chukua nafasi fulani hivi kidogo angalia pa chini mkono wako wa kulia nadhani itakuwa ni sehemu hii hapa ya kushoto eh? on your left hand side uh, kuna sehemu uh, pameandikwa subscribe uh, kama bado ipo ready na maana kwamba hauja subscribe ukifinya uh, itakuwa inamaanisha kwamba ume subscribe tayari na mimi nitashukuru zaidi anyways wacha tuangalie heading yetu bila kupoteza wakati uh, tumeandika it will be leaks a well detailed plan by Azimio that will make Raila Amolo Odinga and Martha Karua defeat William Ruto and Rigathi Gashagwa on voting day that's Tuesday 9th August yani mwezi huu kabisa na mimi nataka nikwambie itumbi bwana ana point zake au tunaweza kusema zile key points ambazo yeye kama itumbi anadhani azimio wametumia au watatumia siku ya uchaguzi kuhakikisha kwamba naibu wa rais William Ruto anapoteza sijui kama unanielewa mtazamaji nataka uwe makini kabisa si ndio uh, kwanza kabisa wacha nikwambie itumbi ni nani kwa sababu najua kuna wengine labda wanamsikiliza for the first time itumbi ni blogger Itumbi ni bloga lakini ambaye amemtetea sana naibu wa rais William Ruto kwa kipindi fulani hivi na amekuwa kimpaint uh, naibu wa rais William Ruto kama candidate ambaye anafaa so yeye amekuwa akipigania Kenya kwanza lakini pia vile vile at the same time akiwa kashif au akiwa kana au kutoa kubali azimio la umoja na manisha Raila Odinga pamoja na naibu wake Martha Wangari Karua nao let's go na e, sitaki kukupa hizi key points za itumbi kwanza eh niko na swali na baada ya swali nitakuja kukupa point zangu ambazo mimi nadhani zinamfeva au zinawafeva azimio la umoja ikiongozwa na Raila Odinga pamoja na Martha Karua lakini ina ina ina, ina warudisha nyuma au inawakataa au ni zile factors ambazo haziezi zika, zikaonyesha kwamba uhu au uh, William Samoei Ruto anaweza kashinda. Yaani hizi ni factors ambazo uh, zinamfeva sana Raila Amolo Odinga kushinda uchaguzi wa mwaka huu mwaka 2022 lakini at the same time zinakataa kabisa uh, Ruto kuchukua nafasi. Yaani uh, sijui nitaiwekaje lakini tayari umenielewa. Hizi ni factors ambazo ni disadvantage sana kwa Ruto kupata nafasi na huku ni very important sana na ni advantage kwa uh, Raila Amolo Odinga na kabla sijakupa key points za itumbi mimi nina points zangu ambazo nataka uwe makini kabisa ndo unielewe ni points saba muhimu kabisa nataka tuchambue moja baada ya nyingine lakini pia wewe utakuja kuniambia kama ni kweli au sio kweli na kama sio kweli uona hisi ni factors gani au ni key points gani ambazo zitamfeva Raila Amolo Odinga na hazitamfeva naibu wa rais William Ruto. Point yangu ya kwanza ni kwamba Ruto pamoja na Rigathi Gashagwa wana more disadvantages. Nikizungumzia more disadvantages kwa Ruto na Gashagwa nazungumzia machafuko ambayo yamekuwa yakiwachafua uh, katika serikali. Unanielewa eh? Kuna makesi nyingi sana ambazo tumekuwa tukiziona. Juzi hapa tumeona court uh, imetoa order kwamba kuna hela fulani ya Gashagwa ambayo ni zaidi ya bilioni moja zimekamatwa au zimeshikiliwa na ina maana kwamba ni serikali imepata hela ambayo ilikuwa imepotea na hizi pesa zinadaiwa kwamba Rigathi Gashagwa ndo alikuwa ameiba on the other side tunaona makesi ambazo zinamzunguka kweli uh, naibu wa rais William Ruto uporaji wa mali uh, ya umma uh, uporaji wa mali ya watu binafsi unaona eh uh, naibu wa rais amekuwa na kesi nyingi sana mahakamani lakini pia vile vile kwa watu ambao uh, wanazifuatilia uh, so unaweza kukuta kwamba hawa wawili wana makesi nyingi sana ambazo inafanya mwananchi ambaye haangalii ushabiki 
anaangalia mwanasiasa na historia zake inakuwa vigumu sana yeye ku trust watu kama hawa so hiyo ni point ya kwanza point ya pili ni kwamba Raila always have big numbers ladies and gentlemen do, let, let, let's don't uh, uh, lie on this one tusidanganyane tu <laughs> Kiswahili kinasema hivyo siju kama nimeweka direct sana uh, tusidanganyane uh, Raila ana numbers kubwa sana tumekuwa tukiona mfano mzuri ni mwaka 2007 alishinda na mpaka leo hii ndio alikosa lakini mpaka leo hii wafuasi wa Raila Amolo Odinga mwaka 2007 na hata Raila mwenyewe kwenye rally zake mara nyingi anasema tulishinda lakini kutokana na namna ambavyo tulinyang'anywa atungefanikiwa kupata ile nafasi hiyo ni point ya pili ya tatu Ruto hajawahi kuvai kwenye nafasi ya presidency sio kama unanielewa mtazamaji kwa makini kabisa kwa nini nimekuja na point hii hapa ya Ruto hajawahi ku a uh, kupigania nafasi ya urais uh, katika uchaguzi ambazo zimepita. Unajua hapa bwana ni kama kukompea mtu ambaye au watu wawili ambaye mmoja ameenda shule. So unajaribu kukompea mtu mmoja ambaye ameenda shule, mwingine hajaenda shule lakini wote wanaenda kukalia mtihani. <laughs> Sijui kama unanielewa. Au mmoja ameenda shule mpaka ngazi za juu, mwingine ameenda shule lakini hajafikia ngazi za juu. Direct kabisa tunazungumzia uh, Raila Molodinga amekuwa kivai kwa kipindi kirefu sana. Lakini at the same time William Samoe Ruto this is the first time ana vai for presidency. Kwa nini nazungumza hivi? Tayari tushajua uzito wa Raila uko wapi kwa sababu ya mara zingine ambazo amekuwa akiwania kiti cha urais. William Ruto inakuwa vigumu kujua ni nafasi gani ambayo wako nayo au uzito wake uko wapi. Na nadhani baada ya uchaguzi huu hapa ndo tutakuja kujua Ruto ana uzito sehemu gani. Tusidanganyane. Sitaki kuzungumza na mashabiki wa azimio na mashabiki wa wa, wa wa Kenya kwanza. Nataka tu nizungumze na watu ambao wanaangalia facts. Ruto hajawahi kuvae kujua uzito wake ni very hard. Raila tunajua potential yake, tunajua nguvu yake, tunajua ni mtu wa aina gani, tunajua ni wapi ana mashabiki wengi, tunajua ni wapi hana mashabiki wengi. Kwa sababu kwa mfano kwa haraka haraka nikimalizia hii point ni kwamba sasa hivi tunajua Mount Kenya uh, Raila ha, ha, hajakuwa akifanya vizuri. But hebu tuangalie kwa pande mwingine wa William Ruto. Hatuwezi tukajua, hatuwezi tukajaji. Labda atapata kura nyingi nyanza na nini, hatuwezi tukajua. So hiyo ndio point ambayo uh, nakwambia kwamba Ruto hajaivai. Ya nne Raila na serikali ujue. Serikali imekuwa ikimsupport sana Raila Amolodinga kwenye shughuli zake za siasa na kando ya kupata support hata tumekuwa tukiona rais Uhuru Kenyatta akimpambania sana kumfanyia zile campaigns siku ya jana alikuwaepo kule Kiambu Mount Kenya kwa ajili ya kumpigia Raila Mbebe na kushawishi wakazi wa Mount Kenya kumsupport Raila Molodinga pamoja na uh, mtoto wao Martha Karua kwa ajili ya ushindi au kupata ushindi wa mwaka mbili na mbili so Raila anapata support kubwa sana kutoka kwa serikali na nikizungumzia serikali nazungumzia huu uh, mwigai uh, Kenyatta point yangu ya tano ni issue au swala la deep state unajua siku zote deep state haipatikani tu katika serikali ipo tu hata kwenye kampuni yako mtazamaji wewe ambao unafanyia kazi mfano mzuri ni kwamba bosi anaweza katamani kumfuta mtu fulani kazi lakini kabla hajamfuta kazi mtu fulani kuna watu ambao wapo hapa kwenye kampuni ambao wataulizwa kwamba nataka kumfuta double j kazi nyinyi mnaonaje ndio sasa hao watakuja kuingililia hao ambao tunawaita deep state watakuja kuingilia waseme kwamba swala la kumfuta double j kazi itakuwa ngumu kwa sababu ya moja mbili tatu same tu na serikali itakuwa vigumu sana deep state kumpoteza au ku, 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 kumtetea uh, Raila Amolodinga itamsupport pakubwa sana na wahakikishe kwamba anapata nafasi katika uchaguzi wa mwaka huu mwaka 2022 sita ni effect ambayo tumekuwa tukiona Mount Kenya mpaka leo hii tunajua vizuri kabisa Raila hajakuwa akipata support kubwa sana uh, Mount Kenya. Namna ambavyo nimekuambia mtazamaji effect ya Mount Kenya ni kubwa sana na naamini uh, mwaka huu mwaka 2022 tutaona mabadiliko makubwa sana uh, tukizungumzia Raila kupata support pale uh, Mount Kenya. Saba na ya mwisho kabisa ni more panics uh, in Kenya kwanza. Kumekuwa na panics nyingi sana tukiangalia 
uh, upande wa Mount Kenya naibu wa rais William Ruto kuwa na press kwa kusema au na kusema kwamba kuna machief kuna uh, watu ambao uh, ni wafanyikazi wa serikali wanahongwa au uh, wanaambiwa vitu fulani ambavyo vinamfeva Raila Amolo au wanaambiwa kufanya vitu fulani ambavyo vitamfeva Raila Amolo Dinga katika uchaguzi uh, wa mwaka huu mwaka 2022 na mambo kama hayo yani mambo ni mengi sana uh, tuwezi tukayamaliza mtazamaji nao uh, tunarudi kwa itumbi na namna ambavyo tu heading yetu ilivyokuwa inasoma tukumbushane kidogo uh, itumbi leaks a well detailed plan by Azimio that will make Raila defeat Ruto on a voting day yani <laughs> siku ya uchaguzi uh, nikubalie nirudie itumbi ametoa key points ambazo anahisi Azimio wamepanga kwa ajili ya kumaliza Ruto siku ya uchaguzi it's getting uh, lit uh, ladies and gentlemen now uh, let's focus on uh, itumbi's key points so, uh, blogger Dennis Itumbi has leaked a well-detailed plan by Azimio that will see Raila Odinga defeat the Kenya Kwanza candidate William Ruto on voting day. Hapo utokona elewa mtaza maji. According to Itumbi, Azimio is keen on ensuring maximum voter turnout. And to achieve this, they will seek the services of various stakeholders in the country such as the border borders and the taxi guys who will be taxed to ferry voters to various polling stations. Yaani kuna uwezo mkubwa kabisa wa azimio kuwalipa uh, watu fulani fulani kuhakikisha kwamba kama ni mtaani wanaingia basi wanahakikisha kwamba wale wamefika wame, wame kwenye zile polling uh, stations ambazo uh, ziko karibu nao au hata ziko mbali nao kuhakikisha kwamba vote zinakaa sawa. Sasa hii inakujaje? Anasema kwamba ndio nimekwambia namna ambavyo boda boda au watu wa boda boda pamoja na wale wa taxi watatumika na <laughs> hii inakuja baada ya wa, hawa kulipwa na azimio la umoja agents so kitu kibaya anyway apparently the above people ambao tumewazungumzia uh, will work hand in hand with more than 30 clusters from nyumba kumi and kazi mtaani so wale nyumba kumi unajua ndo wako pale mtaani eh wao ndo wanajua mtu fulani fulani ana mapungufu fulani ana nauli ya kufikia polling station na nini so hawa nyumba kumi uh, pamoja na um, wale watu wa kazi mtaani watasaidia pakubwa sana kuhakikisha kwamba kila kitu kinakaa vizuri uh, mtazamaji nao uh, to ensure they work uh, successfully they will be expected to report on an hourly basis to update on the progress of the voter turnout for the Azimio side. Hii itasaidia pakubwa sana kwa sababu uh, nimeona pia koti juzi kati hapa imetoa uh, tamko ikawa anasema kwamba ile manual pia itatumika kwa ajili ya kusaidia kupata ukweli wakati ambapo <laughs> electric inakosa kufanya kazi na naamini itakuwa ni kitu kikubwa na kizuri zaidi. So uh, watakuwa na report baada ya lisali moja according to Itumbi uh, na research zake anahisi kama kuna zile uh, reports ambazo watakuwa wanapeleka ambazo zitakuwa zinaonyesha kwamba wale ambao tumewachukua baada ya lisali moja ni wangapi wamefanya nini alafu kando na IEBC na ripoti zao na namba zao hawa maagents watakuwa wana numbers zao si ndo watu ambao wanapeleka watu kupiga kura so wana numbers kila mtu ana, anajua mita fulani tulipata watu kama elfu moja ambao tumewapeleka wakafanya nini wakapiga kura na so mtu mmoja ana mita ana, ana, ana moja. kuna watu wengi na mita tofauti so let's say 30 people wana mita tofauti tofauti kila mtaa labda ina watu elfu moja. so wanajua vizuri hao watu 30 kila mtu amepata elfu moja moja kwa kila mtaa so wakikaa chini wanakuja na watu kama elfu 30 ambao wamepiga kura so IBC hata wakitangaza kwamba ni watu 1200 wamepiga kura hawa maagents tayari wana report kamili ya watu 30 au 1030 ambao wamepiga kura so itasaidia azimio la umoja kupata ukweli ambao upo na vitu kama hivyo so it will be just right and if azimio la umoja planning uh, <laughs> kitu kama hiki hapa nadhani itasaidia pakubwa sana <laughs> wacha tusubiri tuone Itakuaje. So the blogger also disclosed that the, the plan will first be implemented in five sub county namely Mbakasi Njiru, Kasarani, Makadara and Kamukunji 
Uh, he further uh, revealed that the same will be implemented in the six remaining sub-counties in Nairobi. Hiki hapa kitakuwa kinafanyika same to foot to foot na ukiangalia namna ambavo <coughs> wame uh, itumbi na anahisi azimio wamechagua kuna mitaa yale ambayo uh, yamekuwa ya ki pata uh, kura nyingi sana au ni mitaa ambayo yamekuwa yakipigia Raila Amolo Odinga kura sana so anataka ku aim higher zaidi eh? licha kwamba anapata support kubwa anataka kuongezea iwe <coughs> iwe kubwa zaidi anyways uh, tunaenda uh, sehemu nyingine uh, in the meantime various politician analysts and analysts have opined that the Tuesday election will be won on voter turnout and it seems as if Mew is keen on handing Raila early victory in Tumbi's leaked claims are uh, anything to go by since uh, these will work to the advantage of the ODM leader and to the disadvantage of his booze, William Samoe Ruto. Anyways, to, uh, to me quote, Kizungumza, Raila na numbers, na Tuesday, a, a 9th August, na dani numbers zitachangia pakubwa sana mtu kushinda. Na automatic ni Raila Molodinga. We don't need to talk about, uh, I'll talk about uh, that much. This come just a day after both the leading uh, political camps held their last political rallies at the Kasarani Stadium and Nyayo uh, Stadium. That was yesterday. I think I was in Kasarani and uh, what I can say uh, is that Raila Molodinga has fans, man. Die hard fans. One of the biggest crowd I've ever seen in, 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 in my in, in, in my, uh, I can say, rally ambazo, ambazo ni meenda mimi. Uh, na jana kasarani, kasarani likuwa kubwa sana compared to nyayo. Sile mwajua, nyayo ni kama marambili. O kasarani ni kama marambili ya nyayo. Yani nyayo lazima uunganishe marambili ndo upate kasarani moja. <laughs> Sitika mwona nelewa mtazamari. Sabu kasarani sina watu elf sitini ya. Yeah? Uh, now on, on, on the other side, uh, plan ambayo itumbia na hisi kama itasaidia Raila Molodinga kushinda ni President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, support to Azmi Ola Umoja team. Kwa sababu jana uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta went to Kiambu where he urges people to throw uh, their weight behind Raila Odinga and Martha Karua, terming them the only hope for Kenya given their record on integrity matters. So mtazamaji hizi ni points ambazo itumbi hamehisi kama azimio wamepanga kwanza kabisa uh, kukuatumia ku, kina chiefs, uh, wale village elders, nyumba kumi, kazi mtani, kusaidia azimio uh, kuhakikisha kwamba zile numbers zinakuwa ni numbers za kikweli na kuna kudanganya, uh, lakini pia vile vile support ambayo anapata uh, Raila Molodinga kutoka kwa uhuru Kenyatta na mambo kama hayo. So let's wait and see ni kitu kipa mbacho kitatokea. Anyways, uh, nimekupa point zangu, nimekusomea point za itumbi, nataka pia we kama mtazamaji, uwe free uniambie, unadhani ni facts gani au points gani ambazo unahisi uh, zitakuwa za Raila Molodinga kupata nafasi kubwa sana ya kushinda uchaguzi wa mwaka huu mwaka 2022 lakini at the same time unahisi ni factors gani ambazo zitachangia uh, William Samoe Ruto kutopata nafasi niachie tu hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini mwisho kabisa ni kusome uh, hii hapa ni ni namna ni namna ambavo kuna kuna, kuna mwananchi ambaye ametoa maoni yake anasema Excellency Raila Molodinga or his, his Excellency Raila Molodinga has sacrificed so much for us my beloved Kenya uh, fellow Kenyans he deserves the presidency it will be so unfortunate to reward thieves pride arrogant chest thumping power hungry fellows who have nothing to show Kenyans apart from becoming overnight billionaires and now selling wheelbarrows to Kenya huyu ni mtu ambaye anazungumza na facts sio kama shabik yani anazungumza na facts kwamba itakuwa vigumu sana kwa mwananchi kufanya nini kumpigia kura Raila uh, kumpigia kura William Ruto kutokana na hizo facts ambazo nimekupa mtazamaji maoni yako ni gani nitupia hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments na subscribe